Hello dear pilgrims, welcome again to Fatima. Today we have a beautiful sunshine, blue, beautiful blue sky and we are here beside this big heart, red heart, uh, that is here since 2017, uh, the centenary year uh, when we commemorate the 100th anniversary of the apparitions of Fatima and the year that Pope Francis came to Fatima as a Pope for the first time. That's why this, considered the biggest heart of the world, represents the, big, the heart of our mother, Our Lady, that is huge. Uh, and the name of this heart is dedicated to Francisco, Pope Francis. Uh, and as you know, we came to Fatima on the 12th and 13th of May, uh, 2017. We can see a big cross representing the Catholic Church and we can see uh, the, the tree that represents the diffusion of, uh, um, of the values of the Church throughout us. And we can see also um, a man in bronze that represents each one of us. Uh, the pilgrims who come to Fatima, uh, to, to their mother, Our Lady. So we is uh, here this big cross just beside the Century Square uh, and dedicated to Francisco, to Pope Francis. Uh, and uh, um, we were delighted to have Pope Francis here uh, in the centenary year. And now we are going down to the... To the uh, underneath the new basilica, the Basilica of the Most Holy Trinity, uh, to see a beautiful heart, uh, and we tell you all about uh, downstairs. And we are also doing the consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the consecration that Our Lady asked uh, the children here in 1917, on the 13th of July, 1917. And as you know, a lot of consecrations uh, happen throughout our history uh, by Pope Pius XII in 1942, uh, by, uh, by um, uh, Saint John Paul II in 1982 when he came to Fatima for the first time uh, uh, in Thanksgiving because uh, he uh, knew that Our Lady of Fatima protected his heart and saved him from that attempt assassination that he suffered on the 13th of May uh, 1981 in St. Peter's Square in Rome. So we came uh, the following year in 1982 to thank Our Lady to spare his life. Uh, and he did the consecration uh, in the Capelinha that time. But uh, Lucia uh, said that was not the way that Our Lady requested because was not all the bishops present in that, that, in that consecration. So that's why uh, on the uh, 29th of March, 1984, um, the statue that is in the Capelinha of Our Lady of Fatima was brought to Rome. And in St. Peter's Square in Rome, Pope John Paul II did that consecration. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, as I told you, in St. Peter's Square in Rome, in front of the original statue of Our Lady of Fatima. And at that stage, Lucia said that the consecration was, was fulfilled, was done the way that Our Lady requested.
pilgrims? Well, you could see the beautiful heart that was the symbol um, for the centenary uh, of Fatima 2017. And what a wonderful idea um, by Cristina da Rocha, uh, a Portuguese artist. And it's a beautiful heart to remind us um, the love of Mary to all of us, our mother. And um, you could see a mirror in the middle of the heart that we can see ourselves reflected in the heart of Mary, like Francisco, Jacinta and Lucia experienced that love um, of the heart of Mary, uh, of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, ourselves we can feel the same love of Mary. And uh, we can never forget uh, the words of Our Lady to Lucia, my daughter, you are never alone, my Immaculate Heart uh, will be your refuge and the way that we lead you to God and ourselves we we know and we have to remember that we are never alone and the love of Mary leads us to God so we are now um, in the square in the sanctuary square and we will now do the consecration uh, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary um, after I speak um, you can uh, repeat uh, the words in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen. Virgin Mary Mother of God and our Mother to your Immaculate Heart we consecrate ourselves in an act of total entrustment to the Lord By you, we will be led to Christ. By him and with him, we will be led to the Father. We walk in the light of faith. And we will do everything. so that the world may believe that Jesus Christ is the one sent by the Father. With him we wish to carry his love and salvation to the hands of the heart. Under the protection of your Immaculate Heart, we will be one people with Christ. We will be witnesses of His Resurrection. By Him, we will be led to the Father. For the glory of of the Most Holy Trinity, whom we adore, praise and bless forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we leave you with this beautiful day here in Fatima, as Elsa told you, with the beautiful sunshine and blue sky. And we'll see you next week. Until then, keep safe and God bless you.